Hello, trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today, my talk on the vicious cycle of insecurity. This is you battling with yourself and battling with your environment and creating excess potential and balancing forces come in. And before you know it, your goal is completely shot and you are are lacking energy, way too much desire, everything is all off balance, and you do not get what you want. So before I get started, remember like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. I just ordered 5,000 more of these, so I just handed out about 3,000 of them, and if you would like them, please comment and like this video. And Remember Reality 2.0, teachable course, link below, check it out. So, insecurity, my God, I know it so well. And the fact that I'm actually talking about insecurity right now on camera to you guys is a bit of a, it's a bit of a trip because I tried for so long to talk on camera and I was unable to do it because my insecurity levels were so effing high that I could not get anywhere and I would deplete myself. I would become incredibly discouraged. I would give up on the idea for months, even years at a time, and I would struggle and not achieving my goal of being able to speak on camera would lead to more feelings of low self-worth and insecurity, and I was just battling this thing all the time. So the fact that I'm actually talking about this right now on camera is the perfect example. Also, I battled with insecurity in a number of ways my entire life prior to trans surfing. My appearance, I battled with my, with my level of education. I battled with feelings of insecurity around my upbringing, right? My past. And I took all of that stuff with me. And when I would go after something, I would place those things that I was feeling insecure about at the front of the line and I would try to actually work on them as I was attempting to go after the goal and sure enough everything would just sort of go to hell and I wouldn't under I didn't understand why until I found reality transserving and even after I found reality transserving it took me a little bit of time to sort of get up to speed and understand exactly how I break free from this maze and it's the exact opposite of what our what our what we think we would do right battling ourselves or our environment it's really about letting go and dropping importance so I drew a little diagram here to elaborate and I'm going to explain it and yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what happens. So how I see it, when I have decided that I am going to go after something, let's say talking on camera, for example, okay, I have importance. I've got to do this thing. Okay. I've got to do this thing. But again, like I said just a moment ago, I put certain things at the front of the line when going to um, act in the direction of this goal. This being, but I've never talked on camera before and I'm shy and I don't know how to do it and other people do it better than me. Okay. So I have importance then the insecurity comes in and I start doing that weird talk against my intention, against my goal. What happens after this is I feel a loss of energy because battling yourself on the way to a goal is unbelievably depleting. That's why I would take a hiatus for months at a time, sometimes even years, and I wouldn't try because I would deplete myself so hard that I simply could not get the energy back up to take another shot at it, right? 
So loss of energy and then kind of desperation, like this feeling of, but I want it and I can't have it and other people have it and why not me? And all of this imbalance with really feeling a sense of hardcore inadequacy and not allowing myself to have, which would create more desire, which would create more importance, which would create more insecurity. And sure enough, you spiral around. I spiraled around on this on multiple different goals for sometimes years at a time. So how do you escape the maze? Well, the best way to escape the maze is that you have to accept that you can't, okay? There is no working yourself out of the maze. You're not going to find the path with that same line of thinking that got you buried in the maze in the first place. The secret to getting yourself out of the maze is to stop looking for the way out and to let go of the, the, the things that you have placed importance on, right? This is all of the stuff surrounding your goal. This is importance on you really uh, needing to have certain characteristics or attributes in order to fulfill your goal. What I realized is that if you have something you want to do in this world, if you say you want to become something, okay, you do not have to completely become all of those things that you feel that type of person is in order for you to get to the goal. So I know that sounds a little ambiguous. So if you, let's say, want to learn to talk on camera, and I'm just using this as an example because it's so close to home and right here, if you want to learn how to talk on camera and you want to master talking on camera, you do not have to develop all those qualities of someone talking perfectly on camera first, okay? Because if you do that, you are going to be getting into this here, right? You are going to be getting into this and you will defeat yourself. You won't achieve the goal. What you should do, what I did, is lower the levels of importance. Lower the levels of importance around me sounding perfect on camera, about me doing it right all the time, about me whatever the things were, right? Lowering the levels of importance and just taking actionable steps that I can do in that moment being the person that I am right now, not attempting to be anyone that I'm not. Just do what I can do in that moment and try to perfect that little part of it. Then slowly something else will be revealed to me, right? Like some, some other part of it, then I can work on that. Then I move on to something else and I just sort of build and if you look at the the way I'm talking on camera now, as opposed to how I was talking on camera at the beginning of Trans Serving TV, you will see a very, very distinct difference. And this distinct difference absolutely is me just doing what I can do in that moment with who I am, not being hard on myself, not feeding my insecurities, not battling with my insecurities, and just doing what I can do in that moment. This was me lowering the levels of importance and simply just building more and more and more as I go and perfecting the thing, right? So again, the secret to getting out of the maze is to lowering your levels of importance, accepting yourself for the way you are, letting go, and just taking actionable steps in the direction that you deem appropriate at that moment. Stop fighting to prove your sense of self-worth, and surely your sense of self-worth will be returned to you, right? Stop justifying yourself to others and you will stop, you know, feeling like you need to do something to appeal to others, which always makes us feel insecure. So if you reduce the importance you attach 
to external events, you will no longer be dominated by them. This is classic acceptance stuff. This is caring what other people think. This is you doing something for the sake of appearances. This is you trying to keep up with somebody that you feel is doing it better than you and then letting that feeling destroy you on your way to your goal. And there's a much better way to do it. So when you are coordinated and you are just lowering your levels of importance, and this is where heart and mind coordination comes in really well also guys, because let's face it, if you're trying to go after a goal that's not intended for you, you absolutely are going to feel uh, a sense of insecurity because that thing is not intended for you. So making certain that you have um, coordination, heart and mind coordination, your world will show you the way to becoming that person, having that thing, doing that thing, whatever it is that you want, and the feelings of insecurity are managed by you just knowing that that thing is intended for you, lowering your levels of importance, and just taking one step at a time um, in the direction of your intention. So remember, Listen, as Vadim says, to the dictates of your heart. My heart knew that I was on the right path doing this. That's why I was able to keep up and keep trying and all that stuff. But I absolutely did have to work myself out of the maze, not by trying to find a way out, but simply by lowering my levels of importance and watching the walls of the maze dissolve in front of me. It's not about navigating your way out. It's about letting the whole thing just dissolve. So is any of this making sense? Let me know your thoughts below. Remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me. And thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. Bye.